Dude, we need a big one. It's coming too. Oh my gosh, dude, it was like... It's a big one. Come here. I got her. I got her. I got her. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Come here. Gotcha. Bring it back. Had to dig another rod out of the box. First step over here again. Oh, Three pounds to ten ounces. Three ten. Little chunk. See if we can't repeat it. How big he is. Dude, it feels like a big one. That's because it is a big one. Oh, stay down. Definitely gonna need that seat. I'm gonna have to go around. Please. Yep, we're gonna go around. Don't you come up. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a good one. I know what I'm doing at the break. Rigging up more lipless traps. I don't know why I didn't have them on there anyway. Five, seven. Beautiful. Better yet, that's two bites. Well, that was a long boring period ended with a lot of excitement so hopefully we can build upon that you know what i mean uh if you get one bite and then it just leads you on a wild goose chase sometimes it's it's not a good thing but the good news is we got two bites pretty quick so no 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 don't get around that motor i feel like we're going to be able to run this i just don't know um it's not like I have a place in my head, you know, we can go run it right now. So we're just gonna have to keep the trail motor going and see if we can't run into it. Or we're gonna keep trying. championship round. <laughs> Thank you, girl. Makes me feel a lot better about going to Bussy.
Well, it's gonna be fun getting 10 pounders out of here. I can just tell you that right now. Fun for you guys, not fun for me. But I'd love to have that problem. We're doing these sports tracker updates. Looks like our first angler was uh, the Bison sports tracker, Mark Daniels Jr. Has one bass for four pound one ounce. Four pound one ounce. Okay. Took longer than I thought it would. A lot longer, actually. I'm really surprised, you know, that it's as slow as what it is. But you know, I kind of had that that thought that could happen in my head that it, you know, it could be a slow down, grinded out. You know, when you get a bite, it's a big one, but. You're not going to need a lot of bites. So I had it in my mind come over here today that it might be a situation where I need 10 bites um, to win as long as they're big ones. And it seems like that might be going to play out. Now, the, the the question is, you know, because I don't know this place. I've, you know, this is, I've not even casted for an hour on it. Is it something I'm doing? You know, that's, that's the problem. One of the biggest keys is getting confidence in a bait. If I could get a bite right, like pretty soon on a certain bait and just lock it in my hand, you know, my chances go way up because I'm gonna keep it in my hand. I'm gonna start putting it around the right stuff. Um, but until I get a clue, we're just gonna have to instinctually fish. I just would really like to have a bite. You know, I've got some flipping baits on the deck that I've always caught fish on and it's just, it's tough because the water temperature is just 50 degrees. I mean, I don't feel like these fish are gonna be super active, which obviously they're not. But I just need to get a bite. I need to get a bite and get some confidence and we'll be okay because I think I think I'm doing what I need to do to catch the big ones. Get up in here. And just like that. We got a bite. Look at that fish. Four pounds, eight ounces, four eight. Four eight. That is a chunk right there. Finally got a bite. That's what I'm talking about. Now I just, you know, my confidence just went through the roof and I, I don't think it's gonna be a get a bite on every tree type of thing, but it's a bite. Now let's see if we can get two bites. My dad always used to tell me, of course I fished with him a lot and he taught me, obviously he taught me how to fish, got me into fishing, but he's always telling me one at a time. I was trying to catch them. I was getting hurry. One at a time. That's how we're gonna catch them today too. Yeah, that fish hit it hard too. Uh, thrift 
It's 9-3 from just moments ago right here. So ball job Betty right there. <laughs> Nine pounds, three ounces. <laughs> And easy to get a bite. To get a nibble. Come on. Just kick my butt. Bradley, can you go through that a little bit? I know it's painful. Yeah, I'm just trying to be quiet because I had a angler close, but that was a big one. I mean, I'm pitching there, get a bite, and uh, thought I hit that fish pretty good, but she took me out in that way and I mean when you're dealing with big ones around this kind of stuff you're just gonna lose some but that was a big one I gotta grab these legs back here dude that was a dang giant I mean I ain't had a fish pull that hard in a long time Mudfish. It's not what I expected to be in here. Requires a new hook. How much time we got? About five minutes. Five minutes. Ready to have the break. I'm glad I saw that one or else I'd been thinking it was a bass. Well, it wasn't what we expected, but I mean, we did catch one. I'm thankful for that. We did lose that one. I mean, I just, gosh. And you know it, know what's going to happen around this stuff but when you're not getting that many bites. But we'll shake it off. we got 15 minutes to shake it off. The good news is we're around people that are getting bit too, so that's encouraging. I feel like around fish, I feel like we're flipping something we can get bit on, so now it's just a matter of getting them in the boat. So pretty. Three and a half. Three pound eleven ounces. Three eleven. I like your way better. It's my bike. Man, they're so cool. I just this is like torture because you like you know they're not biting great, but every flip you know could be a giant. So you hold your breath on every flip. Currently in second place. Behind Brian Thrift, who remains in first with nine pounds three ounces. I thought I saw Brian catch one, but it must have been must not have been a bass. Did you hear that line cutting through the water? He just come off. Mm. I had my hand on him and missed him. Dang. 
That was a giant. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Three pound, nine ounces, three nine. Three nine. Dang, three nine, I'm shaking. Take a breath. Dude, we need a big one. It's coming too. No, oh, I need me a Brian Thrift Nine Pounder is what I need. And Bradley, I'll give you a score tracker update. Jordan Lee just moved into fourth place. He caught a scoreable bass that weighed five pounds, 15 ounces, five fifteen. We don't need old Joe Lee catching them. Just flipping along, you know. Um, Jordan just bumped us to third. But I mean, I. I'm not really paying a whole lot of attention to it because I mean, you know, even thrift, he's got like a nine pound lead on me, but that's just a bite or two or one bite. And I haven't got a big bite. I feel like I'm due for one of those giants, so. Oh my gosh, dude, it was like, That's two of them. That was like a dang eight plus. Not today to lose them, B-Roy. Not today to lose them. That was a dang on big one. I've had two big bites and lost them both. But the positive is we're in around them. Down there, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I got her. I got her. I got her. Dude, that's a big one. I don't know if my heart can take this. Eight pound, 14 ounces, eight, 14. <laughs> Hang on a second, let me get the DNA swab. Okay. Just hold the fish for me. Eight, 14. Look at that. I mean, that's like a specimen. I pitched it in there and I saw the swirl. Thank you, girl. The one I lost was every bit that big. Oh. We're not out of it. You need a mouth? Is that what you need? Yeah, I mean, it's time. Just for a couple seconds. Okay, that should be good. Good. Thank you, baby. That is... A lot of fun. Finally got a big one in the boat, you know, and I, that's what, first one I, but you're gonna lose them pitching and flipping, it's just the way it is, but first one I didn't see, it felt like a good chunk, you know, and then that second one was every bit that big and I saw it, you know, and it just hurt. But good news is we're around them. We're getting them to bite. If we put them in the boat, we're gonna be dangerous. 
and then I like I pitched it in there and I the hole looked like somebody threw a rock in there beside the tree. Slow and steady. Ready? Yep. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Five pound, eight ounces. Five, eight. Five, eight. I mean, this, this fish are so short and healthy. Man, they're beautiful. <laughs> you just hold your breath, just pitch long. And then finally, finally, you get a bite. Surprised I'm staying as calm as I am. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm really worried about winning the tournament, but more than that, man, this place is just cool. I mean, you, it's not every day you get a chance to flip up a nine or 10 pounder. I mean, I'm, I'm really worried about winning the tournament, but more than that, man, this place is just cool. I mean, you. It's not every day you get a chance to flip up a nine or ten pounder. As diligent as these guys are being with retying their knots and stuff, they, they know they're around biggins. Okay, Bradley, with that fish entered, you have a total weight of 26 pounds, two ounces, 26, two. And you are now in first place, two pounds, three ounces ahead of Brian Thrift, who is now in second. That's what I like to hear. There's so many things I want to try, because, you know, I got, got 10 million ideas in my head on ways I can get bit, but, you know, you just, if you got one way, you know you can get bit. You don't want to quit doing it. And I know these other guys are, you know, trying other things, and they're not really getting bit either, so. <clears throat> We'll just keep using this till we find something better. Five, four, three, two, one. Lines out and turn two. Two down, one to go. Give you a score tracker update. You remain in first place, 26 pounds, two ounces. We got to catch some bass. That's the bottom line. We got one period to go. Oh, Joe Lee's starting to catch a few. I think they're going to start biting a little better. So whoever's, you know, the guys that are around some fish, I think they're going to catch them. So I feel like we need three or four good bites. We could take this one home. If they're nine pound bites, we might not need three or four. But we're just going to keep flipping. I mean, we put ourselves in position. That's all you can ask for. Most of the time, I'm gonna try to do my job and then we'll just let the chips fall where they may. Give you a score tracker update. Looks like Jordan Lee just caught one that weighed 215. Okay. He's now in second place with a weight of 24 pound nine ounces, so he's one pound nine ounce behind. Bradley, we're live. Something's kind of running through your mind right now. Just need a bite. I mean, I just, you know, I wish I had a fresh stretch or somewhere to go, but I'm <laughs> kind of feel like I'm boxed in here. I mean, but I know there's, like, I mean, Alton's in here and he just, he just caught a nine. So, I mean, I know there's still, there's still what I need in here. You know, I just got to get a bite. Got to get on the right rotation. One swims off with it, I'll jerk. That's all I know. Come on. Dang, a bite. Bradley Alton Jones has caught another fish, three pounds, three ounces. He's up to 20 pounds, three ounces. They're coming, boys. We gotta catch one. Randy Al just moved into the sixth 
place. The last fish he caught weighed 12 pounds, 14 ounces. Holy cow. Holy cow. He just broke his own record. It's a 10 pounder yesterday and a 12 pounder today. Randy's having a good week. We missed our tracker change, but just a time check. We have one hour remaining in the period. That's how you do an update. <laughs> you always make me nervous when you do them. Tell me there's no change. We gotta go back up. I probably never fished this tight before. I need to just loosen up and flip. I know I'm gonna get a bite. I know I'm gonna have a chance. Yeah, you know, I really thought I was gonna need two or three, but it looks like I may only need one. So I don't know. It's not. It's not if they pass me. It's when. I, I've got to get a bite. So. 15 minutes. Is that all we got? Are you sure your sport tracker is working? It's working. <laughs> Come on, baby. We just need a bite. We need a bite. It's the longest 15 minutes of my life. Come on. One of you swim off with it. Quit being stupid. I've not particularly enjoyed the third period. <laughs> I feel like I've just been taking punch after punch after punch. The score tracker update, Alvin Jones just caught the bass and weighed four pounds, 12 ounces. He has moved into second place. He has 24 pounds, 15 ounces. He is one pound. Come on, one more. Is it going to happen? Bradley Roy trying to hang on with under a minute left. I think we can just about call it. Bradley Roy is going to hold off some of the biggest names in the business and win for the first time in his young Nine, career. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lines out. End of the period. End of the round. We'll give it just a moment or two for an update. You have remained in first place. That third period was not any fun at all. <laughs> I just felt like we took blow after blow. Randy caught a 12 pounder out and was coming, and I just couldn't get a bite. <laughs> Thankfully, it was enough. Man, I feel like this has been a long time coming. God gets all the glory for this one because I tried every way in the world to mess this up, losing them and this is more for my support system than it is my wife, brand new little boy, my mom, my dad, my whole family, all my friends, man, I got the best support system that's ever. I know they're going crazy. They've, they've probably got absolutely nothing done today. I cannot believe that happened. I knew somebody was going to catch one. I knew I would catch one. You sure your score tracker is working? I don't even know what to say. <laughs> wow. Man, that was brutal. That was like, that third period was awful. I mean, 
Y'all don't even know about that score tracker. It's bad when you're around a cut, but I just kept looking down at the clock and listening to him, and every time I'd hear him clear his voice and get ready to talk, golly, my heart would drop. The baby pattern must be, must be um, the deal. Everybody always says you have a new baby and win a tournament. Me and my wife, Danielle, just had Lucas and win a tournament. It's been a great week. Let me sign that thing. I will be, this is the happiest I've ever been about signing that. Bradley and Danielle welcome Lucas back in August, and Pop is bringing home the biggest win of his career. Bradley Roy is our champion. Nice job, brother. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Bradley Roy, Covercraft Angler. Kentucky, I got some people that are really excited to see me. I'm excited to see them. Um, I feel like it's been a long time coming. It's just been a super great week catching fish. It's been a tough week of weather and fishing, but I was, you know, able to figure them out at each uh, different lake. And of course, you guys have seen all the footage and hope you enjoyed that. It's just been, it's been a really cool week. It's been a whirlwind. I've been trying to get back to everybody. And you know, when I won yesterday, of course, you've got all the glory because wouldn't be doing any of this if it wasn't for wasn't for him but I felt like this was more for my support system than it was for me you know my wife and my mom and my dad and my family and everybody that friends just support me they support me whether I win or not and they've been faithful for ever sponsors um, I feel like I've had a you know pretty good career but I've always missed that win so and they've been there win lose or draw the whole time and now to get this win I feel like it's almost for them more than it was for me so uh, a little bit of validation we got one now. Now we're looking for two. That's just the way it goes. It's, it's, this chasing bass thing is so cool. And uh, we're going to get a little break here, get to see everybody celebrate. And then we'll roll right back into Fork. But I appreciate you guys following along. Hope you enjoyed the footage. Stage one Bass Pro Tour Champion 2022.